sometimes if I take my glasses off, there it is, focus. All right, cool. Hey, what's going on guys? Derek Bennett here. Going to be doing a little something different today. I'm uh, going to be talking about some of the bases that I play or one of the bases that I play uh, from a guy, a luthier in Chicago. Pretty cool guy, uh, Rob Elric. Um, hence the E <laughs> that you see. Um, so you might have seen me playing this from time to time. Uh, just this beautiful uh, walnut type of finish brown. Uh, I just love this color. Uh, and then the crazy block, huge block inlays. I, I don't know, it's just different. I love playing it. Uh, it just has a big sound. It's very simple, uh, very simplistic, but it has a nice sound and very versatile. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about the bass a little bit and then I'm going to play, uh, show you guys some of the combinations. This is a Swamp Ash body uh, with this black and like white trim pit guard, uh, Bartolini uh, pickup preamp setup. Um, pretty simple, pretty simple. Indian rosewood fretboard. I mean, basic, right? Um, maple neck, if you can see that. Uh, that's pretty much it. Very well built bases, uh, very versatile. But what I want to do um, has a very great, great slap tone. <laughs> Very great slap tone. So I'll play a little bit and, and I'll show you guys a little bit of what it does and some tones you can get out of this. So right now I have the blend or I'll show you the pickup configuration now or the, the knob configuration. So I have the blend about halfway. Uh, obviously this is the volume push pull active passive. Um, this is your high end, your treble. All right, this is your mids. This is also push pull. And then at the end you have your bass, okay? And your, or your lows or whatever you want to call it. All right, so I'm very, I'm a very simple guy. I don't need a lot of controls to, you know, uh, to confuse me, <laughs> but just very simplistic setup. And I, I actually, I, I love it. All right, so this is everything flat. I'm gonna show you guys. And actually has that, that, that adjustment where you can actually feel where the halfway mark is. So that's actually pretty nice. So. <laughs> All right, so that's everything halfway, right? And that is actually, that is an active position. Okay, so let me pull out and passive, do the same exact thing. All right, so that is passive. Okay, I had the uh, switch uh, pulled up to the passive position. And I'll show you guys the difference between the passive and the active too. Uh, you won't hear that much of a difference now because everything is flat. When the active is engaged, you'll, you'll get more control of the rest of the knobs. Um, so you can see that heighten, um, uh, sp especially with the treble, the bass, you know, the mids. So I'll show you now, I'm gonna put it back in passive and just kind of mess around with the controls. So everything is still halfway. This is active. So now I'm going to boost up the treble. So you hear that, right? You hear that little boost? That's actually all the way up. So I'm going to bring the mids up as well. I'm going to bring that up. All right. That's with the treble and the mids up. I'm going to bring the bass up a little bit more too. All right, so that adds a little bit more uh, booty, if you will, right? <laughs> so that's just with the active push, uh, you know, push function engage that's active right there. Get a pretty nice slap, like I said before, out of this, right? You can add as much treble as you want, as much mids, you can cut the mids, you can actually cut that or, pu or pull that to cut it. Through. Those are the mids. Use that push pull function to get the exact frequency that you want to cut or boost. Push it back down. And if you guys haven't aren't wearing headphones, I strongly suggest that you wear headphones to actually hear the sound of this bass. So this is just a short overview, uh, introduction of the Elric Jazz bass line. So this is called a new jazz standard. It's going to be called an NJS. Uh, five string. Um, you can find it at elric.com. Uh, you'll, you'll find all the links in the description. I don't want to get anything wrong. Uh, but yeah, very 
stable, very strong, solid bases. Um, I use them daily, like I said. Uh, my signature over here, signature, that's also an Elric base. I'll do another uh, demo on that as well. And it's a four string over here too. That's also a monster as well with, by itself. So, all right, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you wanna see anything else or even demo anything else. And I haven't done a lot of these only because I've been focusing on a Base Nation Academy over at DerekBennett.com. And if you're interested on taking your base plan to the next level, I strongly suggest that you go visit the Base Nation Academy. I'll put the link in the description or even on the screen, DerekBennett.com. Uh, and we'll help you take you to that next level. Right, so listen up, if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also push that notification bell icon. I know that's one more step you gotta take, but <laughs> it's worth it so you don't ever miss a lesson that I post every single Friday and even more times than that. And if you're really, really serious about taking your bass playing to the next level, you become a Bass Nation Academy member at DerekBennett.com. All the links and all the info is in the description. I want to see you there. Come check us out. Three day free trial, nothing to lose. I want to see you there. Did I say I want to see you? I want to see you there. Till next time.